Hey, hi everyone. Uh, this video is regarding the data binding issues. Myself, Devinder, UI developer and trainer on a UIFI. So most of the issues which I have seen, uh, most common issue is uh, data binding. And today we are going to see what all the mistakes that commonly we perform and how to fix it. Let me take first as property binding issues. <clears throat> so in that case, uh, let me take an example. You know, we have uh, a view and the controller and the data, uh, local data. And let me go to show you the output. This is the output that we have and it is successful. So one of the way of learning is uh, getting back and wantedly rising the issues. So it is working fine now here. So this is the output. Yeah, everything is positive. Uh, let us make it to the negative. So let us go back. One of the common issue that people does with the property binding is a typo mistake. So I'm making so slash company slash name slash company slash name. I'm wantedly removing it. Yeah, adding ES to it. Let us see uh, what error that we are going to get it on the page. Yeah. Of course, the data is not available. Let us check, uh, let us inspect and check whether we are going to get any error. Oh no, there is no error referring to it. Then how to fix it? If there is an error, at least we will find there is a problem, but it doesn't show on the question pane as well. Actually, it is not an error. It is, it is uh, a mistake with the mapping. So how to diagnose it? Let me show you one of the tool which is provided by the SAP, one of the powerful tool, which is diagnostic tool. To open it, you have to select the screen and click on Alt, Control, Shift, Yes on a Windows system. And you can check uh, the relevant in the Mac as well, relevant buttons. Now, this is a diagnostic tool, which is one of the best part of the UI UIFI. And you can open up the control tree, which gives you the complete control. I'm into the simple form and especially I'm interested on these particular text. So I can see it is a label and this is a text. Now, how would I investigate it? When after selecting the text, that particular area, which is expected to have a data, text is expected to have a data, just click on binding infos. Beautiful. Now it is showing me an error saying that there is a binding error. It says invalid binding that you have provided to it. Yep. Just in property binding you are using, just in model, everything is fine. So this is how you need to just cross check. OK, there is a problem, with, not problem with the model. There is a problem with the data binding path. So we go there and we compare with this. Oh, no, just fix it. Say yes. And go to the front and just refresh it. You are there to go. I hope this helps you at the next Immediately within this video, I'm going to explain you how to work with the element binding and the common mistakes as well. Now let us see element binding. So let us go back and let me show you the element binding that I have done in the view level and have pointed the element to the element of the model. Again, 
let us start with the common mistake which we say it as in names and almost all will be the same so nothing much difference let me refresh it you can see name that it came and the same formula go back to the diagnostic tool and just check that particular element here now it won't come you have to point to one of them which is adjacent to it click on it go to the binding info yeah not it says okay this is a parent but you can see invalid which is a names then you can just cross check what's the problem with there that's a one of the problem yeah save and sometimes people what they do when the element binding is they add slash at the property level this is one of the common error that people makes uh, ideally you should not have slash at the beginning that that has to be noted when you want to apply the element binding now let us see what is going to happen here of course the name will not appear I'm going to control alt shift yes hey dear diagnostic tool help me I'm going to the name yeah name is this this is text going to the binding info the parent is fine developer knows well here the name it says invalid because it see the absolute path the total path that the text takes is just name but ideally it should be slash company slash info slash zero and name so if we apply slash it is not going to consider the parent path now just I'm going to remove this slash and you are going to see what happens yeah removed it go back yeah refresh it we are going to get it but not only that we are interested in diagnostic tool and where is this text this is the text now see the absolute path dear see the absolute path just think or if you have not got repeat this particular session again you are going to get very good logic I hope this helps you now we will discuss these are the common things I mean normally people will add slash they doesn't know that once I applied the element binding to concatenate this binding with the text I should not use slash this is a common mistake that people does now let us go back to the next binding which is a property binding sorry it's an aggregation binding yeah now let us see the aggregation binding issues aggregation binding is the one which is well widely used yeah one thing that you need to know why I have binded with the aggregation the key just put your brains on this you are going to get a flavor of it of course so this video is especially on the mistakes that the people does is again as I said you know slash they add slash or the mistake and how we are going to track it fine refresh you can see one two three entries are there blank entries are there what actually this denotes is you can see the entries are fine means this binding is positive yeah at aggregation level it is positive it is green but there is some problem with the template level especially at the property level so that is what we need to we need to understand so quickly let me repeat it maybe you know you may feel like oh the window it is good but we just missed it so don't worry I'm there to help you so quickly to revise so sometimes when we do the property binding the entries will appear as a blank yeah and the best way is again alt control shift yes 
go to this control T if I have to point it out here it is available you can say alt control shift click on this key alt control shift click on these once you get the green color say alt tab yep you are you are here on the combo box and yeah what's there it's an element item level when I see the binding it says invalid yeah so there is problem with the binding not with the syntax of any other things so that is the one thing that we need to know means when the, the the entries are blank means there is no problem with with aggregation level there is a problem with here so again in the aggregation or when you are using element binding the initial path of these particular property should not start with slash maybe in some case you know you may, may go ahead with some more entries depending on the example it is allowed but not at this level very special cases right yeah so now yeah. yeah wonderful we got it and the one thing which i appreciate is the diagnostic tool my dear i mean whenever you have binding issues go to the diagnostic tool try to inspect that particular element you are going to get a lot of help and a lot more are there on the diagnostic tool so that's all from my side this is what the binding is it's like a spiral binding you are binding and the ui to the data beautiful i hope you enjoy these sessions so if you really enjoy please like my videos and subscribe to me hope i will be coming up with much more uh, helpful videos to you thank you very much happy binding bye bye